Meet the man behind the money. My next guest advises big clients with big cash. How big? How about $250 million big? His latest book unveils a new breed of the middle class, the millionaires. Let's find the new hotbed of entrepreneurial activity and get down to business with Lewis Schiff. I want to know what you do, how you affect the multimillionaires in your advanced planning group. Sometimes wealth creates new problems. We teach people how to be wealthy. So is Advanced Planning Group an umbrella of services? Yeah. Basically, you, I sit down with you and I say, what's keeping you up at night? And then when I find out what that is... That's a great question. Yeah. That really is a great question. That's because it doesn't matter if you have a dollar or $250 million. Well, it matters to me, but it may not matter to you. Good point. Good point. What's the similarity with these other middle-class millionaires? And that's a good term, but it sounds like an oxymoron. Right. Well, the truth is, um, after doing this for some time, I decided to work only with first-generation wealth meaning I only work with the people who made the money. The reason for that is a personal decision by me. I prefer to work with people who made it. So I want to empathize with my client. That's my job, and so uh, I can't empathize with somebody who grew up around a lot of money, but I can empathize with someone who made it. Okay, and so the name middle class millionaire? Those are people who came from the middle class and who have done the incredible. Is that you? Is that yes. Yes, and I'm a middle class millionaire. For me, that's the best thing in life, right? I mean, do what you know and, and be with people you understand. And what makes someone a middle-class millionaire? Well, it's two parts to that question. What makes the middle class? And I, we've done a lot of research into this. The book is based on a survey of 3,700 households. And we've really crystallized what it means to be middle class in America. In short, middle class people have a unique interest in the furtherance of the next generation. That's a very middle class idea. You probably chose the neighborhood you live in. You probably chose the way you've structured your life in part to help your children get to the next level. Your, kid, your, uh, your wealthier families don't have that same sense of priorities. I've been with clients who had $100 million in assets. And the cardinal rule in my business, especially because especially I deal with first generation wealth, is you never call the client wealthy. I did it once and, you know, a visible reaction. I'm not wealthy. Why are you calling me wealthy? I've got $100 million. I know, I know billionaires up the road. Okay, so you define middle class. How do you define millionaires? Well, so there the point is, what does it take to be this person who came from the middle class a modest household, same access to education, same access to capital that any other middle class person would have. And then they go on to create substantial wealth. It's really a phenomenal thing. Only about 10% of Americans can ever figure it out. What makes them millionaires? These four qualities we've identified in our research. We've bundled them together and we've called the millionaire intelligence. They're really about these behaviors and attitudes that anybody could access. Give me the bullets. Hard work. You said four. Hard, Hard work. work. The typical middle class millionaire we surveyed is working 70 hours a week. The typical middle class family I interviewed is working 40 hours a week. Mm. The second one is networking. Middle class millionaires don't have any more money than anyone else, but they have access to information. Work hard, network. Third is perseverance in the face of adversity. Middle class millionaires try more often, they fail more often, and when they fail, they try again more often. And number four. Number four is the only one you must do. You have to work in your own enlightened self-interest. You must understand between two people or between anyone you interact with what's in it for you. Now, does that seem kind of hardcore? It's the hardest core of all because it includes things like, what if I have to call a lawyer to get what I want? What if I have to uh, take advantage of a weakness that you have to get what I want? That's working in my own enlightened self-interest. Lewis, does it matter? where you apply those four characteristics and what space and what market? It's got very little to do with your choice of profession. It has everything to do with the way you behave within your profession. So the second half of the book will show you how your life is gonna change as a middle class person, how you can change with it by becoming a middle class millionaire, and how you can even become a middle class millionaire by serving other middle class millionaires. I'll give you a perfect example. Coaching as a, as a field is exploding, especially right now when everyone doesn't know what to do next. The one thing I can tell you, middle class billionaires are using coaches now, this time, more than ever because they want to work smart in addition to working hard. You can read my blog, get your questions answered, and find out more about our guest on downtobusiness.com.